welcome to BNC Sports. I'm James Hill. Happy holidays, NBA. The Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks are two teams gunning to reach the 2021 NBA Finals. Let me take you out to the Boston Garden for the Bucks at Celtics season opener. Milwaukee Bucks at Boston Garden. Fourth quarter. Watch Jason Tatum. He pulls up from deep off the glass. The bank's open. It's good. Celtics lead with four tenths of a second remaining. The Bucks lob to Giannis Antetokounmpo. No good. Tristan Thompson called for the foul. Giannis makes the first free throw and he misses the second. And the Celtics hang on to win it, folks. 122 to 121 is your final. College football, FCS football 2021. February 21st, the Tennessee State University Tigers kick off the season versus Jacksonville State University. Four games will be played at Hale Stadium in spring 2021. Eastern Illinois, UT Martin, and Southeast Missouri all play TSU in the hole. Currently, Tennessee State does not have an HBCU football team on their spring 21 football schedule. Check out this BNC Sports exclusive. The protocol that, that we have here on campus uh, is a really good one. I think our administrative staff has done a tremendous job of educating our student athletes on, you know, the do's and don'ts uh, of COVID. And uh, like right now, our kids are are going down to Meharry today to get tested. So we tested our kids um, every other week, 100% of our football team. Uh, we've had very few positives. We have had some, and there are protocols at the university to isolate those guys and quarantine them and contact trace and things of that nature. But we've been very, very fortunate uh, here at Tennessee State uh, with the way we've handled COVID. And I think, you know, moving forward, we'll keep those same protocols in place. And hopefully, you know, we can get this thing kicked off. Coach Reed, the Ohio Valley Conference is doing a phenomenal job putting a schedule together. You guys will actually play most of your games in the state of Tennessee. You'll step out and go over to Kentucky. But talk about the mentality going into a season and what you envision in uh, conference play this year. Well, it's always a tough conference. You know, when you talk about the Jacksonville States of the world, UT Martin, uh, East Kentucky, which will not be, um, you know, on, on that spring schedule because they're playing eight games in the fall. But, uh, you know, it's a tough conference. It's always been a tough conference. And, uh, you know, our first game will be against uh, Jacksonville State University. And uh, we look forward to that. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, we've been really well, you know, in opening contests, beginning part of the season. Uh, hopefully we'll go into this thing healthy. You know, injuries killed us last year. Uh, we had, I, I think, 17 starters to miss six or more games. Everybody's back healthy right now, so we, we're really chopping at the bit, like I said earlier, uh, to get started and go against somebody else. All right, Coach Rod Reed, thank you so much, Tennessee State University. Finally, it's time for our BNC King of the Hill, Dave Roberts. The manager helped the L.A. Dodgers capture the 2020 World Series in five seasons. As the skipper, his Dodgers made the National League playoffs five times. Dave Roberts, the skipper, is our BNC King of the Hill. David Ray Roberts was born May 31st, 1972 in Okinawa, Japan. His mother is Japanese and his father is African American. Roberts played outfield with the UCLA Bruins in college baseball. He was selected by the Detroit Tigers in the 28th round of the 1994 MLB draft. Dave Roberts played five, for, he actually played for five MLB teams during his 10-year pro baseball career. He's a two-time MLB World Series champion. In 2004, he won as a member of the Boston Red Sox. He was the outfielder. He's the second black manager to win a World Series. Dave Roberts is our BNC King of the Hill. And I'm sure in your days back in New England, you heard about his greatness. Uh, yes. down at Fenway and uh, he walked out of there with a ring went over to Los Angeles and helped that ball club and he's doing big things in Cali.